at the Lansing Journal, standing here in the cold with Josh Boots, our managing editor. I think we checked it was negative three degrees right now. Yes, we're recording this on Tuesday, one of the coldest days of the year. Things we do to keep you informed and connected. <laughs> But we are excited to be here. We're at yeah. Living Word Church, and they're doing something unique. This is the first time they've done it. It's the first time I know of anyone in Lansing doing it. A public community ice rink. That's right. It's currently under construction. That's right. And so Josh and I are going to sort of document the progress, what goes into building an ice rink in a church parking lot. That's right. And uh, we hope by the end of the video, we'll have some footage of people skating. That's right. One of the one of the hazards of shooting an intro to a video at the beginning is you don't know exactly what each step is going to look like. But we hope to uh, kind of chronicle the steps that go into setting up a community skating rink. This is something the church is trying. Um, they're hoping it's going to start on, on January 19 and run through January 28. Free, open to the public here in uh, the front of Living Word Church in Lansing. We think it's a fun idea and we want to let you know all about it so that you can enjoy it as well. That's right. Nick is hard at work clearing the parking lot. Is your goal to get all of this powder off so that you're down to concrete, asphalt? Uh, to frame out the ice cream. Okay. The plastic's going down and they're going to put water to freeze over the top. All right. Did you volunteer for this job? I did. <laughs> Why on earth did you do that? <laughs> someone's got to do it and I don't mind the cold. Okay. Did you expect that it was going to be minus three when you volunteered? No. <laughs> so as we understand it, there are uh, three main milestones in uh, constructing an ice rink. Right. Uh, today they're sort of clearing the area, they're expecting a delivery of wood, and they're going to build a frame. Then they have to line that frame with plastic, so they've ordered plastic. And I think Pastor Dave said someone donated that, so that oh, was nice. All right. Uh, once the plastic is spread over the base of the frame, Lansing Fire Department is going to come out and fill the rink with water. That'll be a sight. Hopefully we can get that on video as well. Yes. <laughs> and then skating begins Friday night. Friday night. day two of this project now. Hopefully you can see behind me there is uh, two fire trucks in the distance and the hose is up there in the front corner of this parking lot. You'll notice that there is plastic sheeting down. That happened uh, today. You can see there's this nice wooden frame that was put together yesterday um, and two fire trucks here. There's probably six or seven uh, members of the Lansing Fire Department here including uh, Chief Chad Coinga is here as well. Um, what's happening is there's a fire hydrant on the far side of the church, the back of the parking lot. That There's a hose running from that to that fire truck right there, and then a hose that runs out of the truck that comes here into what's going to be the ice rink. Um, one of the folks here told me that he estimated 3,000 gallons would be required to turn this into a skatable <laughs> sheet of ice, which is a lot of water. Um, and the reason they go through the truck, this is interesting, is that the truck is able to, some apparatus in the truck actually puts more pressure than comes directly out of the fire hydrant. The truck itself can pump 750 gallons of water, but of course that's 
There's more than that required for this, so that's why they're connected to the fire hydrant. So really cool. We've got church folks, fire department kind of standing around. There's definitely some big bubbles that were billowing up in the wind when things first started, but it looks like uh, that's definitely the lower side, so that's filling up first. And hopefully the water will come all the way over here. It's gonna take a little while though. You don't realize how much water is really required for an ice rink of this size. It's Thursday morning and uh, we're back and I'm here with Harold Lewis in your maintenance director at the church? Maintenance manager. Maintenance manager at the church. And Harold has been here every day. You've been uh, getting in the hours putting this ice rink together, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's Thursday and the fire trucks are back. And my understanding was they were just going to be here yesterday. So tell us about why they're here two days in a row. When they first came the first day, the back wall, the south wall of the, the rink was too low and uh, the water started flowing over it so we didn't get the water all the way over to the, this side and so last night Dave, myself and Mo were uh, building that wall back up and the fire trucks came back again at 10 o'clock this morning. I feel like anything that can go wrong will go wrong when you're trying to do something like this, right? The whole project has <laughs> been constantly making audibles. Yeah, and it's the first time, right? So First time. I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I, and I mean, man, first day you were out here, Pastor Dave was out here, other folks were out here, and it was, it was frigid out here. So kind of not a little Zero bit. Zero degrees. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice in a sense to have it be a little warmer today, but it's also like you kind of want the ice to, to we, freeze real hard too. We're praying that the ice freezes. Yeah. So, so tell, tell me about how this idea kind of started and when you first heard about this idea. Whose idea was it? It was originally Dave's idea. Okay. And he came to me probably early December and was like, he wanted to build an ice rink. And I just kind of looked at him like, when are, when are we going to do this? Yeah. And he's like, oh, at the mid-January, end of January. And I was like, really? So it's, it was kind of like from then, I was kind of like, that's impossible. But, you know, he was fired up on doing it. So we all jumped in to support him and try to make this happen. Now, as maintenance manager of a church in Lansing, I'm sure you've seen a lot of stuff. How does this rank as far as, uh, I don't know, most interesting things you've been a part in, project for the church? This is probably the most interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe that. Well, so. super fun idea. And uh, I've, I've been here for three days. You guys have been out here working a lot. It's been cool to, to see the same kind of group coming out day after day and getting the hours it's been in fun, and making this happen. It's yeah. definitely been fun. Besides the cold weather. Right. <laughs> it's been fun. That's sweet. Well, from the community, <laughs> Well thanks, worth it for me. So. Thanks for putting this together. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks, Harold. Thank you. Well, Pastor Dave, Prince, finally we've gotten you. We've been here a couple days in a row and you've just been such a busy guy. Yeah. Closing around, making sure everything is running smoothly. Finally, the uh, fire department trucks have left and now it's just a waiting game, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, We've right now we've got Living Word Community Pond. Yeah. And we hope in a couple <laughs> days it'll be Living Word Community Ice Skating Rink. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, we like finding ways just to involve the community into just healthy, fun, family events. And so when the idea of a ice skating rink in the parking lot was brought up, I got really excited. Yeah. Yeah. And because uh, I don't think people ice skate like they used to. No. It's not as I, common. And uh, there used to be places where you could just show up at the tennis courts and they'd be flooded with ice. Sure. So we thought we'd give it a try in this day and age and see if people want to come out and have a good time. I love that. And it's open to anyone, right? Anyone in the community? It's free? Yeah. You guys have skates that people can use? We do. Okay. We do. So it's 100% free. This is a community event. We're hosting it, but it's, it's a Lansing community event. You don't have to be from Lansing. But we've got free skates. We've been, uh, a friend of mine has been collecting ice skates from secondhand stores for years. Wow. So we've got 80 cool. sets of ice skates ready for your use. We've got free hot chocolate. Uh, I think we'll have free hot dogs on hand. We actually have a free warming center. So yeah, if you get that? too cold, you can go in the church and warm up. So January 19 to January 28, correct? What times of the day are you open? 
Yeah, so the easy way to remember it is on the weekdays, yeah. we're open 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Okay. Okay. And on the weekends, Saturday, it's noon to 8. Okay. And on Sunday, it's noon to 6. Got it. And we're, we start now, we've got two weekends and one week in between, so about a 10-day event. Yeah, that's awesome. And I know, do you have like weather plans? I know that the weather isn't necessarily consistent next week, looking at the forecast, and yeah. just kind of play it by ear every day? Yeah, it's a day at a time. Yeah. Um, we don't control the weather, but we know the Lord's in it. He gave us a super cold week this week to yeah. get it started. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, and we're not experts at ice skating rinks, so we're figuring it out as we go. That's awesome. um, but we're gonna have a great weekend, so people come on out, um, have a good time, dress warmly, and then next week when the weather's change, we'll assess it as we go. But you go to our website, livingword.us, livingword.us, yeah. um, and we'll put updates there, and um, you can call the church, 708-895-4673, 895 Hope, that is. Nice. And uh, uh, we'll let you know what the status is. So it's opening night. Yeah, here at the Living Word Community Ice Rink. <laughs> or slush rink. Yeah, well, it's not quite, it's ice on the top and it's water underneath. So I'm really sad to report that uh, the ice is not fully solid yet. And so it's not ready for prime time. And you tested that yourself. I did. I put my foot through about a foot of water earlier, all the way, like filled my boots. So I spent half the day with one sock on. I think tomorrow's probably 50 50 chance it's ready. Uh, but I am actually going to make a prediction with great certainty that Sunday at noon. This will be the greatest ice skating rink Lansing has ever known. <laughs> Please be a part. The whole vision behind it is just to bring people together and be able to do something interesting that we don't always get a chance to do um, and to spend some time together uh, as a community. So you know, maybe part tomorrow. Of, part of the thing about experiments is you don't know how they're going to turn out. Yeah. So this yeah. whole thing was kind of an experiment. It's our first time ever. And we've watched the progress from... When did we start? Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday and for building. Yeah. Um, We've come a long way. Right, right. We've come it a long great. way. looks great. We're so close. I can see how close we are. It, it looks like ice. It does look like ice. <laughs> but there's water underneath, trust me. I've got a wet boot to prove it. <laughs> Check it out. It's kind of fun to be around it and see it. Is there it. still cocoa available? Would you, if you'd like some cocoa, we'll get you some cocoa. She's a... I'm here there. for the cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the latest news from the Living Word Community Ice Rink. Kind of an unexpected end to this week's video, but we are hopeful that uh, skating will happen soon. And the Lansing Journal will keep an eye on things here at Living Word. Um, Pastor Dave says they will be updating their Facebook page and their website to let people know how conditions progress throughout the week. So stay tuned. In the meantime, thank you for watching and staying informed and connected. We'll see you next week.